Hi there, this is Nerius, and today we'll be talking about a quite a controversial, weird approach to viewing happiness and joy and all those things, which is what if you drastically lower the expectations, drastically lower your the way that you approach seeking things and seeking happiness, and what if that can have the dramatic power of radically improving your life experience? Um, so, in this video, I'll be covering this different approach to seeking happiness where instead of going for the highest goal, you go, wait a second, well, that's great, okay, nothing wrong with that, but what if I learn to enjoy the most basic things and what kind of a foundation would that provide for me in the long run, right, a sort of a stability and what would be the benefits of that? And I would argue that there could be quite a few benefits and we'll delve into the reason, you know, for, 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 for being meditative about life in the sense, being very attentive, being very mindful of your experience and the benefits that that gives you. So my name is Nerius, right? I create videos for people who are interested in the inner journey and developing themselves, learning to utilize what they have, their own brain, their own minds to improve their inner experience, first of all. Uh, which then will translate into better, more efficient actions, which will then translate into the life that you want to live instead of being subject to the psychological winds and storms of your emotions. So uh, the expectation that we always have on life is obviously to achieve a lot of great things. I'm, I'm no different, obviously. I want the same things. That's fine. But over the many years, probably the 15 years that I'm exploring this and working on myself and meditating and doing all kinds of practices, I noticed one very interesting thing, which is, I think, underappreciated. And on the topic of underappreciation, do you enjoy cooking your regular meal? You know, do you enjoy the regular workout? Do you enjoy the regular walk? How about you just looking out the window? It's just the clouds and it's a regular day. But do you enjoy that? It seemed, might seem like a weird question, but one thing that I learned over many years of meditating and reprogramming various elements of me is that our perceptions of things aren't exactly fixed, right? What you think you like and not like, and sure we have some inherent preferences, but also we have a lot of a lot of layers of 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 distortions of opinions, of attitudes, of habitual emotions and habits and opinions, which they definitely can be said to be like some universal truths. They are more closer to habits that we develop through life due to various reasons. If that is the case, right? Notice how we tend to experience life. We want all of those big results. We want those victories. That's fine. One of the biggest reasons why I do all of this inner work is so that I can be more effective in my work, in my relationships, in my whatever jobs, in my hobbies, in my passions. Uh, that's why I do it and it helps. So I understand that. But there comes a moment when you become like hyper focused on your goals, right? Super focused, always hustling and all of that. And your happiness always is two, three, five years away, depending on the scope of your goals. And the bigger your goals are, the further away your happiness is, where it, it, it comes to these absurd ideas where, you know, I'm sure you maybe experienced this and I experienced this and I definitely talked with people where, you know, they describe their ideal life and it's like, well, maybe ideally when I'm 60 and all my houses are paid off and all my cars are paid off and everything is done, then I'll be happy. It's like, well, okay, that's a bit of a weird take, don't you think? So what, for the next, 20, 30, 40, 50, depending on your age, years, you're gonna be miserable to reach that goal. It seems kind of bullshit because you're gonna live these years anyway. Why not make them as enjoyable as you can? And I think I, I, I think there's a way of approaching this, of making this enjoyable, which makes sense psychologically. And let me let me give it to you. What if you could reset your expectations? What if you really considered that, why am I so, anxious about the future, right? Well, it's because I want all those big goals. Okay, but what if I just focused myself and became mindful of each moment as much as I can? And what if I practiced that, right? What if I practiced enjoying, mindfully enjoying 
the everyday thing. Enjoying even the grind, the walk to the work, the cooking dinner. What about cleaning the dishes? What if I enjoy that? You might say, well, some of those things don't seem enjoyable. How do I enjoy them? Well, then I would argue, well, wait a second. I mean, this is a big topic. This, is, this, this isn't as simple as it seems because, well, some people do enjoy dishes and some people don't enjoy dishes. Why is that? They're developed differently. But wait a second. Sometimes you enjoy doing the dishes, maybe, or some other thing, but sometimes you don't enjoy it. Wait a second. Why is that? Well, it means that your perception, your attitude influences the thing that you're doing, obviously, right? I mean, if you get into any degree of inner work, right, sooner or later, you'll notice that you can regulate your emotions, you can even influence them to a degree. Over the long term, you can even develop yourself to a direction where things that might have scared you or annoyed you or whatever, they become less scary, less annoying, maybe even more interesting. What do I mean by that? I mean that you can actually develop your appreciation for the everyday action. How do you do that? Well, it's a combination of training mindfulness in yourself. That's a big part of it. Just being mindful of it, being fully present in the thing, and also introducing a little bit of self-programming by changing your attitudes, by creating different emotional associations to the things that you're doing. Uh, I keep remembering this. I think it's Jung's Carl Jung's quote, which is, you know, people don't see God because they don't, don't look low enough. And I would say this is a very similar concept where a lot of this enjoyment that we want to get and that we could get, it could be achieved if we look low enough. If we look at the thing that we're doing and we really pay attention to it and maybe we even little work on ourselves to to self-regulate and create a nice little emotion a nice little association and pretty soon you start noticing that the simple everyday things that you're doing start becoming enjoyable right you're no longer always uh irritated about having to do that now there's a few levels to achieve that the first level is sort of a baseline self-regulation right just you learning the skill of self-regulating, of calming down, of motivating yourself when you need to, and so on and so forth. That's like sort of the baseline. Then there's the mindfulness of when you do things, you're mindful of them. In other words, you don't let intrusive thoughts overtake you. This is also just a matter of training. Uh, so you do it consciously. You, you pay attention to the thing that you're doing. And once you pay attention to the thing that you're doing, you'll start to notice that it, maybe it is more interesting than you thought once you really pay attention. And then there's the self-programming element, which, you know, you change your general attitudes to things. You program in new experiences for yourself. And that can be a very powerful way of doing things. So what if, right, what if you start introducing that? And I would say that if you start training your ability to be kind of enjoying yourself, even doing the most simple things, Trust me, it's not, you're not gonna get, gonna get more miserable when you do accomplish the big things. In fact, you'll probably be even more excited about that. But it will make the journey way more enjoyable. If you want to make the journey more enjoyable, you have to start training yourself to really accept the mundane everyday things. And in fact, maybe even think that they're not that bad. And you know what? Maybe they're even enjoyable and exciting. And once you get to that point, it becomes very interesting to live because every little small thing becomes way more exciting. Now, obviously, right? I mean, there's still boring things in life and all that. And maybe there's limitations to that, but that depends how far you, you'll go, right? But you can definitely make that everyday experience way more enjoyable, I'd say at least. Uh, and because of that, make your sort of entire life way more enjoyable because of that. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you want some help learning to introduce these self-programming techniques and just getting yourself into a lifestyle that is good for your brain, good for your mind, that allows you to ex experiment and train those and get the benefits of having a calm mind, uh, you can definitely look into uh, my coaching and training program. You can find more information below. Uh, yeah, and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions below, 
let me know. If you have any questions, you can <laughs> put them in below and let me know. Thank you, and until next time.